What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today is November 10th and this is the ninth video of this month. So we're on a good roll right now. We are doing pretty well with the uploads. Um, so we missed one day, but uh, I hope you forgive me still. Uh, but today I want to go by and um, go over two uh, different muscle groups that I train, of course, that everyone should train, shoulders and legs and how I train them and why. So we're going to start off with shoulders, but first I want to let you guys know that these, some of these new shirts, one of my favorite type of shirts from Gymshark are now on sale. So make sure to check the link in the description if you want to get some new Gymshark. Um, but yeah. I just want to let you guys know. Let's get into the shoulders. What I like to do with shoulders, because shoulders, this could be different for everyone, um, but since I feel like my shoulders overpower my arms a little bit, I don't train them that often. When I do train them, I start out with a pressing exercise. Either it's going to be dumbbell or a barbell, uh, but I start out with some type of pressing movement. Before any shoulder workout, I always warm up my upper body. I always warm up my rotator cuffs. I always warm up my shoulders before I start, because you always want to warm up properly before doing shoulders. I feel like shoulders are clutch. Like they can either ruin you um, or make you look epic. So what I'd like to do when I start with a pressing movement is do five sets and five to eight repetitions, keeping the rep range quite low. By keeping the rep ranges low, I can really develop some good strength for my shoulders, which personally I think is very, very important when it comes to shoulders. I think that's important because I like to train the rest of the shoulders with high intensity and high volume. In my training, I really like to annihilate my shoulder. I really like to have him in a lot of pain, burning, um, of course, in a good way. By doing supersets and drop sets, you get a lot of blood flow in the muscle. You get a great pump. By combining the intensity, the strength, and the volume with shoulders, I personally found it uh, that I made the most shoulder gains. So apply this to your own training. I don't do a lot of exercise for shoulders, like three or four, and I make sure I do the front, the side, and the rear delt. So apply this to your own training. Make sure to figure out what you like and what exercises work best for you, and then apply some type of strength and high volume intensity uh, rep range to your own training. Now let's move on to legs. Legs are, are super, super important. And a lot of people really hate training legs. This is because they hurt a lot. You know, the pain the days after is pretty much exhausting. You sweat a lot more. It's a lot harder to train legs. When you see some type of progress or some type of result, legs becomes a lot of fun. And when you start loving legs, I think you're, you're golden. You're set for life. Since I play football or soccer, um, on Sundays, I can't really train them twice a week with very high intensity or very strength-based training because my knees just won't do it. Um, I tried it before, um, doing twice a week and then having a match on Sunday, but my knees were in so much pain, uh, it was definitely not good for me. So I switched to once a week for legs and I tried to focus on every aspect of the leg. It's the quads, hamstrings, glutes, calves. So usually I start with squats. I feel like squats are just the best exercise for legs to do to start off with. Before you start off with squats though, I always have like 10, 15 minutes on a treadmill just to warm up my legs. So I make sure the risk of injury is as low as possible. Of course, we're lifting weights here, guys. We're not doing some type of random stuff. We're actually putting weights on our shoulder and lifting them. So there is a chance of injury. So make sure that you make that chance as low as possible. So I start off with squats and with squats pretty much, it's very important that you have your form under control. Uh, I, I can go over the whole form now but I do want to say is that you keep always keep your core tight always flex your abs uh, make sure everything is tight and when you go down try to go lower than 90 degrees with squats I tried in the past to do five sets of five repetitions which worked very well um, since I do only train it once a week I like the feeling of having you know really you know being dead in my legs when I walk home or when I drive home um, driving a stick shift with very busy traffic after leg day is, <laughs> is the worst thing ever. Also, you see me do the glute kickbacks. Obviously, I don't do them very often. It's a very feminine exercise, and a lot of females do it, but it's not really bad for guys to do. Like, we all need glutes, um, and squatting, a lot of people say squatting is for, for ass, but it's pretty much a quad dominant exercise. So um, you wanna make sure you hit your glutes once in a while so you grow that booty. The girls like the booty too, trust me. And also, lastly, calves. Um, calves are forgotten quite some time and calves are just very important to keep the balance of your physique um, You don't want to have very tiny calves and very big arms that just doesn't look well um, So you want to always keep that in mind uh, You can skip calves if you want you can skip leg day if you want But at some point it's gonna look really bad and it's 
you know, it's personal preference, but still it's going to look out of proportion and then it's not just not good looking in my opinion. But yeah, that's how I train my shoulders and my legs, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a thumbs up. If we can hit 500 likes on this video, that would be much appreciated. Make sure to check the link in the description for the new Gymshark stuff. But I really like this one. I think it's a very clean shirt, but that's just my opinion. Thank you all so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Deuces.